Letting your dog off the lead, watching him run free is truly a wonderful experience for both you and your dog. But it can also be a stressful experience if you are dreading an incident happening or are anxious that your dog may not come back or will only do so when he is ready. So my advice is to only let your dog off when he is responding well and walking by your side on the lead and work with recall training first. Until you have convinced your dog that you are in charge of the walk, there is a strong possibility that your dog will do whatever he likes when off the lead. So Steve, I'd like to talk to you today about recall training. Now the main purpose of this is to, rather than just let your dog off the lead and hope that they may come back, with this way you get to teach them to come back on a command so you feel confident when you let your dog off that they're going to come back. Also it's a nice way for them to have a sniff around with you still feeling in control. Now the place to really start this is in the home because we need to install the command come first. So it could be that you go out into the garden and then you call the dog to you and when the dog comes to you you're going to release the treat and repeat the command which is come and then say good boy. So what we then do is we go to a park such as this and then we can have him on the extended lead. Now what we're going to do today Steve is that we're going to let Fidget go off when he's sniffing around, you're going to say, fidget, come. He's going to come to you. You bend down, you give him the treat, and as you release the treat, you repeat the word, the, the command, come, and tell him he's a good boy. Okay. Then he can go off again, and then when he comes back this time, when you tell him to come, you do the same thing. You release the treat, you bend down, and you tell him he's a good boy. When Fidget was on the long lead, he, it was obvious that he just needed to expel some energy. He was, he was so stressed. And by giving him that long lead and allowing him to run, his face was just showing how delighted he was to have that freedom. And then when he's, he's just expelled that excess, then I can work with him in a way that is different than if I had not allowed that to take place. Letting your dog off the lead is the affection side of the process and leadership needs to be established first. Pack leaders do what they want, when they want and they come and go when they want. This is why it is vital to put leadership in place before letting your pet run free. A dog who feels in charge will return on his terms and when he is ready. If you have a dog that does what he likes when let off the lead, it is essential to establish leadership on the lead first. I recommend an, an extendable lead whilst in the garden or park so you can train your dog to return when called, even when there are other dogs around. By using high quality treats, you can communicate what your dog is supposed to do. And like all dog training, this becomes so much easier once you have established yourself as the pack leader. Sometimes dogs simply don't understand what they are supposed to do rather than just being naughty. 